Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Royal Instinct. Um, today we're going to be looking at a video. Um, it's a new documentary being released on Amazon Prime and um, it's about Premier League footballers and their wives. Um, and again, it's just going into the whole global feminist agenda, how they plan to emasculate men, how they plan to make these elite stars look like little weaklings, little girls, um, compared to their strong uh, female counterparts, which in this case is their wives. Um, it's a sad state of affairs. Um, we live in a time where um, the elites are going to take over. Um, AI is upon us. AI will be taking away the majority of jobs. All throughout history, men have been the providers. They have been the people in the relationship who are the breadwinners. They bring home money to take care of the family. Women have uh, traditionally been the nurturers. And um, feminism has made it so that being feminine was seen as a bad thing. See, originally, if you were born a female, you would naturally take on the feminine role in the relationship. Female, feminism, masculine, male, right? Men, just by being born a man, had to take on the more masculine role. What determines what masculine is, what... Um, feminine is, is is mainly testosterone all embryos are female until the 16th week i believe the sixth week where if it's uh, a xy chromosome which is male gets flooded with testosterone and that's when the embryo develops a penis basically so that is the main difference Men are poisoned with testosterone because testosterone shortens your lifespan. So, so men have the burden of being flooded with testosterone, which makes us inevitably stronger, which um, allows us to grow penises, testicles, and therefore, we have the burden of, of being masculine, of being male. It also allows us to be aggressive in the pursuit of our goals. We make more money. And feminism for, oh, we want a piece of that too. We want all the benefits of being a female and the benefits of uh, what masculinity brings by constructing a safe environment to do so. I don't give a fuck. Like, if you if you're a female, you want to be a girl boss. I, I don't. I truly couldn't give a shit. But I just thought it. it I, I just watched the trailer earlier, and I just thought it was funny how how the propaganda machine just like has to make the all the women in the show really strong, and all the men these bumbling clowns who who pander to the women. It's um. Like, if that is the true nature of the, the relationship, it's fine. But it, I just don't like the fact that how mainstream media is just shoving it into our faces. It kind of just, like, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. It's like, like, okay, I get it. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway, let's jump into it. We'll be, we'll be commenting throughout it. Um so these are these are Premier League footballers who I mean I mean Riyad Mahrez, Gundogan, um, you know, play for Man City just off the back of winning the Champions League. Jorginho, uh, former Champions League winner, he um has won the Champions League with Chelsea, beating Man City, right now plays for Arsenal. Uh, Matt Turner used to be the backup goalkeeper for Arsenal and Trasovsky, Trasovsky, he plays for Everton, um, 
who you know, you know so, so so they are all um, at least three of them are, 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 are on top 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 level athletes, right? But behind every great player is an even greater woman, right? It's not like where's the quality? Is that even greater? That like, these are the top, top, top elite in their chosen fields, and the women are even greater. It isn't just enough that they're equally as great, right? But that they all five are even greater. Let's see what makes them so great. Light camera action. <laughs> when the mouse is away, the cat will play. <laughs> I think we're a very fun family. Yeah, we have a little <laughs> bit of drama. A bit crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> fun, crazy, drama. <laughs> I, I like how sh she's obviously leading the conversation. He has to just play along with it. You know, look, look, look. She, she's wearing a dress. This guy just rocks up in a t shirt and shorts. He, he can give two shits about this documentary. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, is the. It's the wives who made their husbands do the show. You can just tell by the body language. I mean, look at that. He he's just he literally he just woke up from his nap, right? He 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 was sleeping in his boxers, wearing a t-shirt, and he was like, "All right, cool, let's rock on. I'll do this." She full on now red nails done, matching a red flowery dress, tits out, and earrings on. Do you get what I mean? Like like it's her. This is all. To drive her future business deals, basically, and 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 this is the point. I, I'm not. I, I don't, I'm not. I don't hate. Right. I, I don't hate it. It's like, it's like we live in a time where you have to become famous. Okay. Any way possible, you have to become famous. Okay. And these women, what they're doing is like this woman, I believe, uh, was on a reality TV show in the UK called The Voice. So she's already has some sort of fame. Do you get what I mean? But now she's irrelevant. She met a very wealthy footballer, Premier League footballer, that she now is using to further advance her career because she recognizes how important fame is. If you want the best opportunities for yourself or your future children, you have to become famous. And this, this woman is a, she's got the balls to do it, she's got the beauty to do it. And she recognizes how important it is. Even though she doesn't know why it's important, she recognizes it is important. So I will tell you why it's so important. Because we live in a time where AI is about to displace 80% of jobs. Okay. And most people are going to be left redundant. Most people are going to have to sell all the assets, the houses their inheritance to survive in the next phase of humanity most people won't be able to reproduce or make it make pass on their genes to the next phase of, of evolution the elites however the ultra rich who are at the top make who i have uh, by default become decision makers they are preparing themselves they're preparing themselves they're preparing their children they're preparing that they're getting ready for the Earth's population by the next generation halving from nine billion to four point five, and then halving again, and slowly and slowly it'll keep weeding out the poorer and poorer and poorer until there's only one or two billion left, maybe maybe even less. Right? I don't know what they have planned yet. I haven't penetrated those circles yet, and they are they are waiting to to jet, basically take over to to stop any damage happening to earth by climate change or whatever and that they they're, they're going to use and merge with technologies all you got to do is read the book by Yuval Noharo Yaris Harris called uh, Homo Deus he wrote sapiens and he he outlines his future predictions for the world right and you might say they are only his predictions, but he works alongside the World Economic Forum. He works alongside 
the modern day antichrist Klaus Schwab. He, th- these people are literally telling you to your face. Oh, literally, we're gonna, we're about to fuck you. We're gonna fuck you in the ass. There's nothing you can do about it. If you want, if you be nice, if you play along, I'll put some lube in it, and then they'll lube you up, right? They lick their thumb, push up, they're smushing their thumb, right? Wiggle it about before they penetrate you. And if you don't play along, there won't be no lube. They'll just fuck you raw, right? Either way, they're going to fuck you. The only way that you won't get fucked is if you become the fuck E, okay? You become the person who's doing the fucking, okay? You have to become someone who's famous, become an elite, join the elites, penetrate those circles and become one of the important decision makers in the world. And um, the way to do it, the way I advocate to do it is it's not the way these people are doing it because there's no, there's no honor in, in those ways. It works. It hundred percent works because it will watch, but there's no honor really. <clears throat> there's no respect. Um, their, their husbands uh, have all respectful professions because, you know, to become an elite level athlete, you have to make sacrifices um, you have to work your ass off. Um, their partners just show up with, you know, their pretty faces and get picked by the athletes who who are too stupid to realize the the dumb decisions they're making. But that's a uh, that's neither here here or there. Um, you know, they they they, they, they literally they show them a pair of tits and then and then they're literally blind. They'll be like, "All right, cool, we'll do whatever you want." Um, and then, and then they're getting robbed blind. I mean, Jorginho, who 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 we're seeing here in this, in this clip here, the guy in the uh, the white t shirt, he's already been divorced. So, and and then and then only recently, like uh, within the last four or five years, I think, and he thought, oh, let let me do that again. So you know, he's got two, he's got he's got three children by two different women. He's getting married for a second time. I'm sure he's already paying child support to the first wife. This woman's got another child by another guy. <clears throat> which is modern day cuckoldry um you know i don't i don't hate on it i'm i'm just saying what it is okay so that's it's, it's not there's no negative connotations in my view it's, it is just what it is okay um you know it, it's like saying the sky is blue right he's raising another man's child he, his other children are probably being raised by another guy it's it's a weird dynamic but he and he's footing the bill for everything <laughs> because he's a successful one um, you know, if you want to, if you want to live the top life, if you want to be an elite and, um, <clears throat> do it better than Jorginho did, you have to become someone who's famous and, and the way you do it is by becoming a subject matter expert, become, um, someone who's very knowledgeable about a subject that you're very passionate about, um, rise to the top, become, uh, the point of authority in your chosen field, become, <laughs> someone people look up to someone who people admire uh, become famous and then all the money opportunities flow to you all the all the beautiful women flow to you um and then other kings such as myself recognize who you are and then and we'll make business deals we'll fight along each side each other and um fight against the the tyranny that's to come we'll we'll come up with a plan we'll execute a plan we'll go into battle to save humanity just so they don't get shafted. Do you know what I mean? If we can stop any of these rapes that are about to happen, then um, I think we would have done a good thing for the world. We would have to sleep at night. And even if we die, we we'll know we've died for a good cause. <laughs> I really don't want people to call me just the wife. Sarah is very- Why not? Why is that so bad? Uh, I'm just a wife. You're, you're the wife to a very rich and successful person. You're helping him accomplish his goals. You're helping him raise his children. But that's not enough, is it? Very independent. Very. She's very independent, which means she will throw a tantrum if she doesn't get her way. Loving and caring. She's very loving and caring, which means just occasionally she gives him a blowjob. And by the way, j- just look how skinny this girl's calves are. Like that, that, she doesn't do any walking whatsoever. I hate the word wag. 
Why? Why does she hate the word wag? Because wag in England stands for wife and girlfriend. So <clears throat> in 2006, the British media dubbed the crew of the England football squad, their, the Bishop, basically their significant others, wives and girlfriends, because they used to go out and be invited along to stay with them during the tournament. They they called the whole crew WAGs, which which stands for wags and girlfriend, uh, wives and girlfriends. And she hates it because, oh, I don't just want to be a, a wife and a girlfriend of a footballer. She has to become an independently strong person by herself. Well, Well, why didn't you do it before you got married? Why did it take you to hate the fact that you would call the wag? Be offered a deal to be on the show about the wives and girlfriends of footballers. After, you know, and, and the only reason you get on the show is because you're a wag. But she hates it. Yet she's on the show because she's a wag. Make it make sense. Samantha. Good now, girl. He's a personal trainer. People might really enjoy the whole lifestyle of getting your hair done, getting your nails done, but... <sighs> getting your hair done, getting your nails done, which is a, a very feminine thing to do. But obviously, our wag Samantha hates being a wife and a girlfriend, and she likes to get down and dirty in the gym, sweating it out. But let's see if she wears any makeup. Do, do you think she wears any makeup? And, and look, look, look at her husband next to her again. Shorts and t-shirt. Um, doesn't give a really shit. Boring. Can we just go back to Ildwen? Very independent, very loving. Again, they're, they're all wearing white t-shirts. All wearing white t-shirts. This is definitely forced by by the wives. Let's fast forward there. Hang on. We do a lot together, but equally we have our own lives. Some people go. might really enjoy the whole lifestyle of getting your hair done, getting your nails done, but <sighs> I find that really boring. We do a lot together, but equally we have our own lives. I'm busy. We do a lot together, but we have our own lives. And, you know, the, the, the thing about marriage is and you, you don't have to get married, right? Why, why didn't you just stay boyfriend, girlfriend then? Why did you have to get married, right? Um... You know, like, like, like the whole point purpose of marriage is, is the union of two souls to raise a family together, right? But she'd rather have her own life. Do you know what I mean? And this is uh, Taylor, who's Riyad Mahrez's wife. Riyad Mahrez is um, French-Algerian with an Algerian nationality. He plays for the Algerian football team. One of the most talented football players to ever grace the Premier League. Very, very talented. But just has poor choice of women. Doing my things and you're busy with football. Oh, is... Just look at the just look at the body language there. Let's just go back. Hang on. He's covering his mouth. His arm is covering his stomach. He he's literally he he's trying to self soothe because he's being he's being forced to do this. He doesn't want to do. It. He doesn't want to say the wrong thing. He's worried. He, he looks like. If the if if the roles were if if the body language was reversed and he, and uh, he was wearing all black, sitting upright in a dominant position, and he and she was, you know, slouched back, holding her stomach, self soothing, covering her mouth, uh, you would think that behind closed doors there was domestic violence. Like he looks like he there, there's domestic violence. He he he's the um, victim of uh, domestic abuse. Hundred percent. I mean, ju just look at the body language. You can't, you can't tell me that if if you ever saw a man sitting like the way she is, and a woman sitting how he is, that you would not question that behind closed doors he slaps her about. I'm sorry, right? But but because it's obviously a woman and a man, no one gives a f no one gives two shits. Okay, he he's literally covering his mouth, right? I better not say the wrong thing. Oh no, I don't really want to do this. He's, 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 oh no, I don't want to do this. I better cover my mouth. Like, it, it, this is domestic abuse. You're busy with football. This is a dream to be in the positions that we're in. It's a dream to be in the position that we're in. What? How did he get there, right? 
how did he get there? He he worked his ass off. He worked his whole life, right? He sacrificed his childhood. He sacrificed parties. He sacrificed his mental health. Um, he 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 gets abused by fans from the opposition teams. Um, he he I mean, he wasn't even the starting football uh, the goalkeeper for Arsenal, right? He he was on the on the uh, he he was a reserve goalkeeper, right? So you're not even playing in the main team, which is what your dream is, and you have to literally psychologically for a whole season keep yourself all right maybe next maybe next game maybe next game maybe next game and you still have to be very professional about it but oh it's, it, they're, they're in a very privileged position because they both worked so hard at it. it's like oh man if you if you work hard if you're female and you work hard and you got to the position where you got to great you know i i i take my hat off to you uh, but just um just by You know, just because you married him and got lucky, you know, just be grateful for that. You know, if she came out, if she came out and said, you know, like, I'm helping him support him, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I am, I'm the one who runs the family because he's the one providing. Like, if, if she gave the flowers to, to her man, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But it's, it's like she's taking credit for something that she, you know, they're in a, in a very um, privileged position. Because of uh, she, she hit the genetic lottery with her looks, and he, he is as talented and hardworking as he is. Behind the scenes has a story too. It's not always as glamorous as everyone thinks it is. Welcome to our home, and you know you're providing a really good life for your family. He's providing, but then. You know, what is money if you're not able to be there in the moment? This is the life. <laughs> and, and and that's the life they chose, right? Like, it's, um, I remember when I was born, my mum really, really breaks my dad's balls on this. Um, <clears throat> so I, I grew up in, in Germany, but I was born in England. And uh, the reason I was born in England is because my great grandmother lived here in England. And uh, my mum, when she was pregnant, she moved in into a great grandmother's house into her grandmother's house and I was born in my great grandmother's house. Okay. Um, my great grandmother died when I was like 20 years old. So I, I got to see them, you know, uh, I, I got to see him for 15, 20 years. Right. Uh, um, both my great grandparents. Um, <clears throat> and my, so, so, so my mum came to England from Germany, gave birth here. I became a British citizen because of that. Um, and then when I was three months old, I moved back to, uh, from England to Germany and my father from, he moved from India to Germany, spent 25 years there working because he, he went there because he had a cousin who already went there from India. And he said, there's plenty of jobs here. Come, come move to, to Germany. Um, but because my, my, my dad wasn't present at my birth, my mom always holds it against him. Oh, you weren't there. When 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 I when your son was born and when my sister was born, he he again he he missed the birth because it was um my sister and my mom went into labor early in the morning like five six a.m. and my dad had to go and open the uh, the warehouse where he used to work. So he was like the the manager of a warehouse and he he was like, look, if I don't go, I've got the keys. I'm the only one with the keys. If I don't go, then, then all these other people are gonna be late to work. So he had to go. My uncle had to take my mom to uh to the hospital or, or or assist her down the stairs of um the flat the the building apartment building that we lived in when the ambulance came and took her and um so so he again he he missed two births or whatever right like he uh, but it's I, I don't give a shit you know my sister doesn't give a shit but mum gives a shit so it is something that's very important to women but look man like <clears throat> you know if, if a man is putting bread on the table and he's paying the bills for you to the hospital bills for you to go and um, give this birth. Like cut him some slack in it. Sometimes things are out of your control. That is the brutal thing about football. There is literally no warning. We sacrifice a lot. The biggest one is being away all the time. It's part of the game, isn't it? He, he, you can tell, you can tell Maris doesn't give two shits about this documentary. He's just like, it's part of the game, isn't it? All right, can we, can I go and play football now? Can I go train and uh, start making some money? 
it's difficult to plan life. We will make the best out of it. Married to the game. It's, it, it's like... Married to the game is a, is a pimp term, is a, is a, is a hip-hop term for being married to the game, which is... The game is... Originally, the game is the game of, uh, of pimpology, pimping. And um, then it became also... The game is also drug dealing. Um, and then it's just the game is surviving the hood. And... You know, you, you you know you 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 have to play the game. You have to be married to the game. You have to love the game. You have to give back to the game. And here it's just a word and play saying like, like and and a lot of like pimps used to say, "I'm married to the game. I'm married to the lifestyle of being a pimp." You know, you 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 have to be married to the game, not an any individual hoe. And here they're saying, oh, literally, that the wives who are married to the footballers, so they're not even married to the footballers. They're married to the game. It does. It doesn't matter which fo football it was. That they ha they have no personality. They're being dehumanized in front of you, right? Because it's married to the game. It's it's um, it's a story of the the wives who are married to footballers. But these footballers are individual people, and and overall, uh, if in the context of this documentary, it doesn't really really matter because it could have been any fucking athlete married to to the game so we are now married to the people who, who play this game and 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 beyond that we are, we're not even physically married to the people who, who play we're married to the actual game itself so it is just about being a wag Cheshire is like near uh, between Manchester and Liverpool up north. So you've got like the, the blingier stuff. Yeah. The neck. So this is Mahrez's wife, Riyad Mahrez, is, who's uh, one of the most talented football football players to ever grace the Premier League. And obviously Taylor's got her own little side business with her sister. It's a race that I am Taylor and you are? Taylor what? Taylor Mahrez. <laughs> See, she didn't even want to say it. She didn't even want to say it. Like, like he, he all, all he asked for was, was a little bit of respect. So she, in, look, look, normally it'd be a man who who introduces, who does the formalities before, but he's sitting there cross armed. He, he doesn't be part there, and all he wants is just it's just a little bit of recognition. He, he's doing this for her. You can obviously tell by the by the body language. And um, he asks her, Taylor, what? And she goes, Oh, Morris. So, so which is his surname. Which um, she, so she's Mrs. Mares, and she she kind of laughs it off, and and just just listen to the next bit. It's kind of heartbreaking, and watch his face. I'm actually Taylor Ward still. I'm Taylor Ward. She's still Taylor Ward, and she's very happy about that. I'm still Taylor Ward. I got my British surname. I didn't take the Muslim surname. It's a sad state of affairs. It's like 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 you would have thought that that she's in love with him. She wants to be part of his life be part of his family raise his kids but look she's not i'm still taylor ward and she asked you know she's really really proud of that come on watch. and look at his face you know he, he he's he's very disappointed he's like you know he, he's very pissed off he, he's not happy he's like like you, you're disrespecting my fucking family here she didn't have to marry him she didn't she didn't have to marry the multi-millionaire athlete footballer what's your name Riyad. But I do like the concept. We just need to yeah. execute it better. Like it's he, he wasn't happy about right that. At the moment. Cool. So I have a jewelry brand called Astalia with my sister Darby. I think mm -hmm. we Look how affectionately she she talks about her sister and her jewelry brand, and then she couldn't show any any affection towards uh, Riyadh's heritage, his uh, Algerian heritage. You know that, that I'm sure that, that there's a great history behind that name. She kind of just dismisses it, doesn't give two shits. It will be like a nice little follow on. It's stressful and it's a lot of work, but we've had some good success. But look, man, good luck to her. You know, like she's, she's managed to, you know, become the wife of a, of a famous footballer. She's got that multi-millionaire lifestyle because she's married into fame. She is able to become a famous person in her own right now, you know, 
she's going to use this documentary to to plug her business, to plug her own brand, her personal brand, um, become famous on Instagram. And then and then the doors will open for her. You know, she's got a kid by him. She's going to enjoy life. And and that's where the best opportunities lie. That's where all the money goes to. She recognizes that. I mean, fair play. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, all, all women today are trying to do the same. They're trying to marry someone who's famous. And um, and if you're a man, you have to become someone famous. It's, it's how the game works. It's like, you know, all these red pill people who, who you know, who, 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 who rage on feminism, who rage on all these women. It's like, bro, that is the game. Do you know what I mean? You have to you have to accept the rules for what it is. It's like, you know, you can't make the rules until you become a king. And the rules are, the new rules are, is, is you have to become famous. You have to rise to the top, <clears throat> become a subject matter expert, um, garner attention, live, the, show the world that you're a king, right? I, I am a king. I'm rising to the top. I'm looking for 100 people who also want to be there at the top with me battling alongside to take on the world economic forum if you feel like you you've had enough of living life like a like a nobody like an invisible person that people overlook for opportunities if you're sick and tired of, of women overlooking you for your just because you're not famous it, it, it's time to to accept what the how the game is accept the rules of the game and become someone who's famous um, it's, it's where I'm going. I'm going straight to the top. I want you to join me. I'm looking for 100 people to join me. If that's not you, if you're not interested, then great. You know, watch this video for entertainment and go away. If you are interested, if you think that this is something that is right for you, go to royalinstinct.com um, and book a call with me, work with me, and we will make sure that you become someone who's famous, become someone who's wealthy, um, who's recognized for his... Um, insights for his um his his perspective in 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 life someone who is a king who will be seen as a king and once we're at the top it'll be a party um because i love to party i love it when um i'm around friends who are as ambitious as i am uh, and again if it's something you want of let me know until next time take care